Okay, <coughs> today is the start of the fuselage, or the rear of the fuselage, uh, so, so if you have a look, um, as you can see I've made the start, this is the first side, so uh, my little trick to it is once it's all in nice there, it doesn't matter if it moves on the plan now, because what I do, is I usually get a piece of film, Place it over it. That would be tough. Nice, it's great you can get it. And, so. and then what I do is, because the film won't stick to it, I then use that as my template so that I know that both sides are going to be identical. And for example, there's your first one there, so you just line it up with that one. And then if you want to be, this is about right there. And you just pin it to the original like so and follow suit all the way down. So they're all in the same way. Yay, jelly. And basically, <coughs> obviously without giving too much time, make sure they're all in exactly the same position. And then you follow suit with the rest of the wood that you've got planned to cut when they're ready. You always do your top and bottom first because that's your main stage. Some people do tend to like do it the other way, cutting them in the middle, but I find this the easier way, personally speaking. You go through there, and it's a square. Right, that's that. Oh yeah, right. I was on the subject. Did have a, a chap did ask about size of area space to build on. Well, I don't know if people have noticed, but I've managed to concentrate on this table alone, which on average is about eight foot long the actual spacing I try and tend to build the whole plane being by in mind it is a quarter scale plane uh, to do it on this just to show that it can be done in a smaller area and they're not a massive workshop like this is just a luxury um, which believe me I never used to have so I know what it's like to have them but the other thing I've done with this as well is I follow the plan as you go along because this like I said before can't breed enough this is not a proper plan so they give you a guide here which is ideal uh, for when you want to make sure you're getting your fuse bits in right and all this jazz, you know, as you do. But that's at a later date, you keep going back to that as a uh, guide, reference. Obviously the top as well. But that's all at a later date. Okay. So, and that's about it. There's obviously this follow suit. And when these are done, they're your back riggers. And, that, and uh, that trailer I designed, that's exactly how I intend to build the electric version. We'll come to that later. Alright then. Bye and cheerio. Bye.